Lenny Bro has probably been one of the biggest influences on my playing. I hope this is just one of several videos in a series that I will call How Did Lenny Bro Do That? Today I'm going to show you not only how Lenny did some of his groundbreaking harmonics, but I'm going to show you ways that you can incorporate them into your playing. <laughs> to be honest, I think Lenny did so much more than harmonics to propel guitar playing into a whole new universe. But his harmonics are pretty cool. Many people call these type of harmonics harp harmonics, sometimes even referred to as artificial harmonics. But that makes no sense to me. I don't understand what's artificial about them. Lenny just called them harmonics because that's what they are. I guess it's counter to what's known as natural harmonics. You know, the harmonics that you find at the 12th, 7th, 5th, 4th, and 3rd frets of each string. Matter of fact, if you want to even take it further, you can get two more harmonics between the 2nd and 3rd fret. With a little bit of gain, you can even get a few more. You may have heard Eddie Van Halen do this. Anyway, let's start with the simplest and probably the easiest harmonic to produce, the octave. If you haven't played harmonics before, gently place a fretting hand finger on a string directly over the 12th fret, like literally down the center of your finger. Don't squeeze or push the string down, you'll just get a fretted note. Just a light touch. As soon as you pluck the note, lift your finger directly off afterwards. The harmonic note will now keep ringing. Here's a cool idea using natural harmonics combining the 12th and 7th fret harmonics. See if you can figure out how many chords this will work over. I count 12. If you want to know all the chords, download the PDF below. Lenny eliminated the left hand and played harmonics entirely with the right hand by using the thumb to pluck the note while using the index finger to touch the string. Look Ma, no left hand. Remember our harmonics at the 12th fret? So what Lenny realized is that you can play a harmonic 12 frets above any fretted note. I'm at the 3rd fret, I'm going to do that same technique I did at the 12th fret. You just have to get used to mirroring your left hand 12 frets above wherever you're fretting. So basically I'm just playing the shape 12 frets higher that my fingers are forming down here. He then added plucked fretted notes with harmonic notes. At the third fret I can create a G minor pentatonic scale. He took it even further and added in hammer-ons and pull-offs. Here's a G minor blue scale by hammering onto the C sharp on the fifth string after the C harmonic. On the way back, you pull off the C sharp to the C. Kind of cool. It's a good time to mention that in order to keep the strings ringing, you have to leave your fingers down until it's required that you lift them up. Staying at the 3rd fret, let's start with a C major scale. Now, 
I'm going to start on F, but it's still the C major scale, all natural notes. If you play it quickly, you get what sounds similar to a harp. That's how the term harp harmonics came into play. Ingenious, right? F major. B flat major. E flat major. You can play scales in all 12 keys within a 2 fret area. I'll put more examples in the PDF. Lenny also used them in chord voicings to create chords that piano players can do easily otherwise would be impossible or near impossible to play on guitar. What he would do is usually take the bass note or the lowest note in the voicing and raise it up an octave by using the harmonic technique. On this C major 7 voicing, by raising the root an octave, here's what the chord looks like before raising the root with the harmonic. When I apply the harmonic, it now sounds like this. Without the harmonic, with the harmonic, And now you can apply this to any chord containing four different notes or more. The more complex the chord is, the more room you have to apply this technique. If you have chords with five or more notes, like this C major 7 sharp 11, you can move through the chord a few different ways using combinations of our harmonics and fretted notes. Four strings at a time. Two strings at a time. Cascading up and down. It gives you some really cool colors, right? Listen to this live recording where I use these techniques. work great for intros. They work great for endings too. You know what we're going to do next? Check out these other videos to improve your jazz playing.